Hello and good morning. Today is Monday, April 24th, and it is about 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm about to get on a plane and fly to New York City. Step one is to drive to a parking ride near the Cincinnati airport, then take a shuttle to the Cincinnati airport, then get on a plane and fly to Newark, New Jersey. Then we're gonna take a bus from that airport to Grand Central Station, where I'm hopefully going to find my friend Collier. Then we're gonna get on a train where I'm gonna spend the week with Collier and his wife, Michaela. I'm friends of mine, haven't seen him in a while. You gonna miss me, buddy? See you, pal. Okay, it is now Tuesday. As you can see, I successfully made it to New York City, found my friends. Yesterday, we came to their apartment, I dropped my stuff off, and then we walked around Central Park, went to some grocery stores, just kind of hung out and had a, basically just a night in because I was exhausted from the trip and they were tired from work. Today, however, I'm heading out right now into the city alone, which is exciting, and I'm just gonna start exploring and see where I end up. This is of course my first time here. So many people have been like, oh, don't get mugged, people are crazy there. Not even slightly worried about that. But one thing I've heard that I actually am kind of worried about is that there are no bathrooms anywhere. So we'll see how that goes. I'm walking to get on a subway to head to lower Manhattan to see some stuff down there.
floated up to the top of One World Trade Center, the tallest building in New York. 1700, wait, I don't know how many feet. So I get to watch this cool thing. I'm in the elevator by myself. My ears just popped. Wow, did you see the Twin Towers just disappear? And now we're at the top. Oh my goodness. Welcome to One World Observatory. So I was just right there. Now we're back down on the ground. Gonna head uptown a little ways to check out the Starbucks Reserve Roastery and probably grab some lunch up there.
exactly what I thought it would taste like. Harry Potter store was super cool. About to be done exploring here for a little bit. Collier's about to be off work. I'm gonna meet him right here. And until then, just gonna sit here and people watch. rats. Where? Um, maybe. Do they ever get smushed? Um, I've always been like what, waiting for it to happen, but I don't think it's happened It yet. just explodes? Yeah. They're, I mean, it's bound to happen. They, well, I don't know why they choose to live here in the literal train. This is a great back. interview. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good quality interview. Uh, what are we about to do? Um, we're about to go to Times Square and take pictures. Well, probably not take pictures with them because they're scary. The, with the rats? The, with the Elmos. With and the, the Elmos, yeah. The Marios and Sonics and, and etc. Et I'm just going to be a tourist and, and put it up in their face. Sometimes like there's the Yes. <laughs> what do you do? I hope Thor is there. <laughs>
we're back at the Starbucks Reserve Roastery. This is whiskey barrel aged cold brew. And it's immaculate. And I paid immaculate money for it. <laughs> yes, immaculate money. I got olive oil infused latte. It's gonna it's make you go doo-doo. It, it will, <laughs> I'm gonna go right now. So this would be more for someone who maybe has a Martin and has a Gibson and they're like, hey, I want something that like does both. There's Gary Clark Jr. All right, today is now Thursday, my final day in New York. I'm heading back out on the town alone today just to see more things. I don't really have a ton of plans other than just get on the subway, find some coffee, and start exploring. We'll see where I end up. It is quite cloudy today and I did not bring a rain jacket. So thoughts and prayers. So I just had a bit of a situation. After I got off that bench, I walked for about a mile and wanted to take a quick little video of something. Reached in my pocket and realized my camera was gone. So I took off running at full speed, jumping over fences, because I have no idea where I was going. Ran all the way back to the bench, probably a mile. And it was still there. So maybe New York City isn't as bad as people say it is. Or maybe just no one saw it because it's really tiny. Anyway, all is well. I really love the freeing feeling of just having my backpack on, 
in my feet that could take me anywhere I want to go with the help of public transportation. Growing up playing games like Zelda, Mario, Skyrim, you just go anywhere you want and explore. I think that's where that comes from. And I love just being able to walk and video things and just see where the city leads me. But I'm also really glad I found my camera. I think I would go crazy after a while trying to live here, but it has been really fun just having the freedom to explore this city. I wasn't planning to do this, but I have now walked a whole lap around this lake. Right up here is where I left my camera a couple hours ago. And somewhere over there is where I was when I realized I didn't have it. And now we're back. I've just been sitting on this picnic table in the park, doing some riding and people watching, but it's getting a little bit cold, so I'm gonna head on into the city. The first stop, I think, is gonna be a guitar shop that's been on my radar since I've been here. So I'm gonna go check that out and probably find some lunch soon. And we'll see where we end up after that. Get him.
All right, I'm all packed up and ready for a very early morning to fly home. And so begins the long journey home. First, we're taking a subway to Grand Central Station, where I'll get on my bus that will take me to the Newark Airport. Then we fly to Cincinnati. Then we get on a shuttle that'll take us to the car. Then we drive home and get to see my boy. So I had a bit of a situation back there. I got on the train after waiting for like 15 minutes for it. And once it started moving, realized it was going the wrong direction. I couldn't figure out how to get switched around. And once I finally did, I had to get on the other train and sprint through Grand Central Station. And I made it to my bus with about a minute to spare. I'm at Newark now. Gotta go through security. Got plenty of time now. Should be an easy trip home. Just get it over with. Got through security. Got about an hour until I can board my flight. It's been a really stressful morning, but we're here. Turns out, after all that, my flight's delayed. So, I've got like two hours to kill. I'm gonna get some coffee and just chill, because I need it after a very stressful morning. one more trip of public transportation and then I'll be back to my car and back in control again one final one final anxiety filled search to find the correct vehicle to take me where I'm trying to go I just realized that leaving the apartment this morning doesn't even feel like today. I didn't even cross time zones and I swear I'm jet lagged.
we did it. My car is still here. My car still starts. I'm gonna find some lunch, find some coffee, then got like an hour home and this thing is over. I bought this red bag in like 2009. It's been all over the country with me and the zipper broke on the way home. Not sure if it's fixable or if it's even worth it, but it has served me well. Dutch? Hey buddy, come on down, come here, come here. Hey buddy, you want treats? You wanna come see daddy? Look, hi buddy, can you shake? Good boy, good to see you again. Good to see you again. Here you have a treat, you want a bacon? Good boy. And that will conclude this adventure. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much to Collier and Michaela for having me and for hanging out with me and showing me your city. I love you guys. It was so good to see you and hang out with you again. With that said, that's it. I might start making videos again, we'll see. But until then, see ya. Bless me.